Hello, this is Morgana in Arl, our second night in Arl, first day, and I did the tourist thing, yay, I'm feeling much better about, <laughs> about how I'm doing this. I went on a tour uh, to Les Beaux, which means the cliffs, Les Beaux de Provence, the cliffs of Provence, and this, these are the, the soft white stones, the quarry that like this, that, that built the aqueducts, the Roman aqueducts 2000 years ago that are in this region that built the arena, the amphitheater that is just a few, like a block away from us and that you see on the walls here. This side is newer than that side uh, or the ones in the, the background. Like you can see that's, that's what this place looks like with a lot of stuff on the table. Okay. So there is a show right now uh, up in the cliffs where Jean Cocteau, or I think it's Co Jean, it's Cocteau, the, the artist, the early 20th century artist who did all the surreal, beautiful drawings and the movies like La, La Bête et La Belle, which is a French, I think, silent movie that I saw as a child and I still, it's still one of my favorites, black and white, really magical. Uh, and he did his Orpheus movie in these caves which are really kind of spooky wonderful former quarry and it turned into a museum that has this deep immersion of art so in the recent past they had like huge Cezanne or or huge Picasso famous artists and Van Gogh is one of my favorite artists so I went there and Lumiere, something to do with light. But what it's like is like stepping in to, hi, I see Errol, Lisa, David, hi. It's like stepping into Van Gogh's paintings because they're, they're broadcast, they're, they're, um, these projectors put these giant blow-ups of the painting on these 15 meter high, towering cave walls and lots of them so that it's like you're in little parts of each of the paintings and you can't see the whole thing and and you see these giant brush strokes and each wall is a little bit different so you're getting little different aspects that are moving all the time of these different paintings so they they'll be going through maybe one painting but depending on where you are in the cave you're seeing a different the world of starry night where you are inside the hay fields and you see one peasant here and another peasant over there or you're inside the insane asylum where uh van gogh was being treated after he cut off his ear and and you see the brush strokes so much bigger and and it's it's really magical and it's even the even the brush strokes are on the ground in front of you so it's like being in this world of van gogh and seeing the world and what's really weird and really exciting about that is i'm seeing these paintings of things that i just saw in real life like i was living in montmartre in paris and that's where Van Gogh lives. So I'm seeing the buildings and things that I saw there, but now I'm seeing them interpreted by Van Gogh. And I'm seeing the olive trees that I've just seen thousands of olive trees. And now I'm seeing them interpreted by Van Gogh. And then even my computer, you can't see it. It's covered with a sticker of Van Gogh's almond blossoms. And then I'm in surrounded by the almond blossoms. Uh, and we went to a wine tasting on this tour, this place called Mas de la Dame. And in the South, they pronounce Mas. In other parts, our, our driver said that it would be Ma. But Mas de la Dame, Mas is like a small farmhouse. Mas de la Dame is uh, a winery and has been for several generations owned by women. And you can see right here, this is the painting by Van Gogh. And then this is right? This is the building that I was at for the winery today. So it's really weird seeing the surroundings, seeing the town of Arles, seeing the town of Paris, and seeing the Valley de l'Enfer, the Valley of Hell, that this 
places called that inspired Van Gogh, inspired Jean Cocteau, the artist, filmmaker, inspired uh, Alighieri who wrote Dante's Inferno. So there's something really potent about this place that inspires all this really profound history changing art. Um, and it's cool to be there because it's also just beautiful. The weather is amazing. The history here is amazing. You, you know, you've got Roman stuff going back thousands of years and then you've got the Constantines, which is Christianity. And then you have the Saracens, which is Islam from Spain. They all came here and they all made Arles this little town. And it's little, you can walk all over it. They all made it their base. And then there's, oh God, what is the name of that architect? And if you remember, just type it in. He's the one who does all the, Frank Gehry, ha, ha. I just remembered, thank you for reminding me, you know, just energetically, Frank Gehry is, is building a giant, really one of those weird metallic, weird sculpty towers in Arles, in this, you know, city that is so ancient. And because uh, the cosmetic, the, the woman who owns the La Roche Swiss cosmetic empire loves Arles. So she's pouring money into Arles and she's buying hotels and she's paying Gary to create this wild, fantastic tower that'll be an art museum. To, and I'm thrilled to see that because I love this city and I love to see it being loved and recognized and getting the attention that it deserves. Meanwhile, it's so just easy and relaxed. We get to walk around. There's no stress to get lots of places. I think tomorrow uh, I'll take a train to Avignon where a bunch of popes set up a second popery <laughs> um, when the Catholic Church split. So you had some popes in Rome and you had some popes here in the south of France for several hundred years in the beautiful Gothic cathedral that I want to check out. I hear there's a, um, a great museum. They call it an exposition here. Uh, so I'm going to try and do that tomorrow. The part of me just kind of wants to hang around and maybe go to the cloisters here. Oh, and to wrap up, Devin and I had a monumental dinner tonight. Um, we had the taster, which was like six or seven courses. So we had rabbit and we had snails and we had tuna and we had um, ratatouille and we had and a bunch of other things too. Very tasty, very interesting, really fun to have this kind of culinary adventure. Our host recommended this restaurant that I La, La Goule de Loup, it's something to do with a wolf, on uh, La Rue de Arenas. <sighs> terrible, terrible French accent. It's the, the street of the arena. La, uh, La Rue de Rennes is probably how it's supposed to be pronounced. But anyway, um, excellent, excellent food. The black rice risotto, all of it, really good unbelievably full <laughs> but that's kind of like i couldn't leave france without us having a really fancy meal so we had that tonight and in van gogh's art seeing the cliff castles of les Beaux, the 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 cliffs that's what les Beaux means with the white stone that builds the city and built these 2000 year old aqueducts. I'll post a lot of photos. I also took some videos inside the exhibit. I just have to upload it on Devin's phone because if you're coming in late, my phone was stolen, pickpocketed at La Gare du Nord, the North train station in Paris. Uh, so Devin keeps the grown-up phone <laughs> or the grown-up the grown-up camera and I'm borrowing his phone to take pictures and that kind of wraps it up I am exhausted if you can't tell just blah uh, can't wait to get some sleep and wake up tomorrow and do it again and then Thursday we move on to Barcelona I think we're still negotiating that maybe there's some other stuff in the south of France to see hi 
Uh, and I'll post all of this over at, uh, with the photos, over at inthenobride.com where you can follow us on all of our weddings. We are currently at 23 weddings in 17 countries and counting. We still have Spain and Portugal to do. Uh, Monaco might be too out of the way. That might have to, I, maybe, I don't know if we'll do Monaco. So um, it's probably noon back or close to one o'clock back in Los Angeles. It's close to 10 o'clock here in Arles, France, in the south of France, getting really sleepy. So I'm gonna check out. Mwah. A bientôt, au revoir, good night all.